What's up, Colonel Nation? Another preseason camp's just wrapped up today. I'm joined by Ted and Coach Tommy Zagorski. Coach, how's camp been going? Awesome. Uh, great opportunity to develop and get better. Uh, we're in the midst of the longest camp in the history of the NCAA. Uh, we're asking our guys to dig deep every day. I know you're feeding them juice, not Kool-Aid. How's that working out for the guys this year? Uh, pretty great. I, I think our guys are uh, embracing it. They're getting after it. Uh, I think that running back crew with Coach Meyer, they're, uh, they're starting to bring a little bit more juice than us right now. So we've been challenged. We've got to get better at it. Coach, we're rocking four tight ends on the depth chart this year, but we're, I'm not just talking regular tight ends. We have big, tall, like wide bodies. How's that going to help out the offense plus the offensive line? Uh, you want big, long, athletic guys, and uh, they always joke that tight ends are a master of none. Uh, we're trying to be a master of all right now. Uh, we've got guys that want to get better in the run game. They want to get better as pass protectors. They want to get better as catch receivers, and they want to get better at advancing the football. So if they do that every single day, uh, the way that we've been attacking it, uh, I feel really, really good about this tight end group. Coach, you're talking about getting in the run game, pass blocking. How important is it for tight ends to have that skill to be able to block either downfield or at the line of scrimmage? It's essential. Uh, if we can't do that, teams are going to tee off and understand that, oh, that guy's in the game, they're throwing the ball. That guy's in the game, they're going to run the ball. You have to have guys that can do both and have to be able to dominate. That's where the big old whys come from. Second year here with the offense, just to Eastern Kentucky. What's Tommy Zagorski looking at a Tommy Zagorski this year? Uh, trying to be like David Miller, making every uh, meal a banquet, I guess. I don't know if everybody just dropped that one. <laughs> Coach, I like, you know, I strive to, you know, send off that positive energy to everybody. One more question, Coach, let's get out of here. No, what can good. the Colonel fans expect from the tight end core this year? A uh, physical group uh, that's going to finish plays and uh, are going to be somewhat fun to watch on Saturdays. And more importantly, are going to be guys that are great in this community uh, Monday uh, through Friday, uh, really living up to the, what Colonel football is all about uh, and guys that are firing the cannon. Coach, I'm excited, and I look forward to it. Thanks Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Fans now joined by tight end Dan Paul. Dan, how's uh, camp been going for you? Camp's been going well. Um, every day is a grind. We come out here, start at 8 o'clock, finish at 9. But practices are tough, but I mean, it's camp. A couple new faces in the tight end core are returning you, Clayton Schmerber. What are you guys doing to help bring along, you know, the new guys? We're getting them in their playbooks and making them feel like they're, like they're wanted, like they want to be here. Like they're a part of the team and just we're just staying together and linking as a unit. How does Coach Zagorski help you up your game just besides bringing the energy that he brings? Uh, go great coaching. He's always great positive positivity, and he's just always there to help. And um, I mean, it's great. What's Dan Paul looking at a Dan Paul this year? I'm looking to finish the whole season and have a great season. Simple, elegant. I like it. What can the Colonel fans expect out of the tight end core this year? Toughness and touchdowns. The double T's. I like it. Dan, I appreciate your time, man. Thank you very much.